you uh, had to kind of summarize the genius of Coach Cronin and what he's done with you guys, what would you kind of say? Um, he just knows basketball, you know, a uh, smart guy. Uh, we only like worry about things that we can control, you know. You can't control like offense, you know, shots going in, all that stuff. But you can control like defense, your effort, and your attitude. So, you know, uh, we just worry about the only things that we can actually control. How much do you think you personally have improved from the beginning to now? Um, immensely. Um, I think like all my numbers up and all that stuff. Um, and I feel just, you know, for myself, I just feel like I'm making a bigger impact, you know, in our wins. Um, so that's where I feel as if I've grown. Have you ever had a coach emphasize defense as much as Karn does? Oh uh, yeah, for sure. What makes him do it differently than other coaches? What do you mean? What makes him emphasize defense more than other coaches that you've had? Certain coaches, you know, coach different things harder. I don't really know how to answer the question, but um, I've had coaches that emphasize defense just as he has. So this isn't the first time, you know, I've had a coach like this. Have you have you seen your own like your own skills on defense grow? Uh, yeah, defense is all want though. It's not really a skill set when it comes to defense. <laughs> it's just like knowing who you're guarding, um, knowing how you need to guard that team. And you know, just putting out the effort. That's all defense really is. The Arizona State presents some unique challenges. You you've said it yourself before last time that they have kind of freelance and they got all these guards kind of mm. running around. How do you guys kind of match that? And obviously, in the first game you didn't have Jalen, but uh, they they got a bunch of threes up and then got a bunch of transition points. Uh, how do you kind of counteract that this time? Um, we just got to take care of the ball better. We had a lot of turnovers. Uh, shots got blocked, you know, just giving them, you know, free runs. Um, so we got to take care of the ball. And then, you know, once we take care of the ball, we should be able to get back and, you know, get our defense set. That's a big emphasis. Um, turnovers is what really gave them a lot of points last game. We were really careless with the ball. And, you know, on missed shots and transition, we didn't really get back. So we got to take care of the ball and get back. When did you guys start to really gel and, and become the team that just won nine out of 11 games? Whenever the winning streak started. <laughs> um, I feel like we, we like, even like in losses earlier in the year, we showed like flashes, but we just couldn't put together full games or long stretches. Um, I feel like we like started gelling early, but right now it's just showing in the winning column. You guys uh, come in to a first place showdown kind of game. How much would it mean to have a big crowd there? Is it? The crowd? I don't know. I, I care less about the crowd. I wouldn't want to say it like that, but we feed off of each other's energy, you know? Um, we'd enjoy a big crowd there, of course. We love the fans here. The fans here are the greatest. I mean, they came out for the last games, you know, really, you know, uh, gave us some energy in the Utah game. And, and uh, I mean, I just, you know, like, we've had early games with no crowd, you know? Uh, like I said, the Utah game, when we were here home, they, we didn't really have a crowd, it was an early game, so we had to feed off our own energy, you know. Uh, but we love a crowd here, but we feed off of each other's energy, so, you know, we'd enjoy if they came, but if not, we play the same. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.